my god, what is that? What is that? Oh, oh my. She oh. just said that she loves <laughs> What? What is. What's happening here? It's the most <laughs> wonderful time of the year. Or is it? Okay, so what am I even watching? Or what are you watching? Well, we're in the Netherlands. And in the Netherlands, the Dutch doesn't have Santa Claus, the man that I grew up with in Canada with his cute old beard and his tummy belly. But uh, Sinterklaas, that's this bishop looking fella right here. He basically does the same thing, but his elves are, well, let's just say controversial. Cinder Claus is assisted by Zwarte Piet, aka translation is just Black Piet, and he's their helpers, dressed in 16th century Moorish attire. So traditionally, Zwarte Piet's face is said to be black because he is a Moor from Spain. And the festivities traditionally begin each year in mid-November, this time where the first Saturday after the 11th November when Cinder Claus arrives by a steamboat so that's what's happening right here at a designated seaside town supposedly from Spain also for this vlog please excuse the ramshackle crow's crash pad where we're temporarily staying in until me and Yeroon find our own apartment from this tedious apartment hunting process okay so we're gonna get changed we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna go and actually go to the parade and I'm going to show you what the Cinder Claus festivities is all about and all the cool Dutch Christmas traditions that Jeroen is going to introduce to me for my first ever Christmas season in the Netherlands. Don't they look so happy? <laughs> They're not actually black, it's supposed to be suit. Like they fall through the chimney and then they get suit all over their skin and but that doesn't really explain their curly hair and red lipstick or how their clothes are all clean but just the skin. But okay, it's still a fun, fun parade. And then they throw candies out for little children. Maybe I can get a candy. I want some candy. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, Thomas, the engine, the train engine. Thank you, It's like the gay parade, but you get oranges instead of beets. Put this uh, for December 5th when Sinter Claus comes to visit my house. I'm gonna feed him or his white horse this carrot. Look, he has stem and everything. Tonight, 
guys, like I said, that was like a gay parade, but instead of beads, I got orange and a carrot. So the carrot is to feed Santa Claus horse because he doesn't have reindeer. He has a really nice, majestic white horse with all his little back uh, suited uh, little elves. Oh, there's Santa Claus. There he is. Oh, wait, Santa Claus. Oh, Santa Claus. Yes, he comes on a horse instead of a reindeer. Look, the Pope. Santa Claus. The Elmer is watching from his uh, window <laughs> here. <laughs> So uh, what are we making today? So today we have some mixed veggies. I'm gonna make it in a wok style with mushrooms and onions and stuff, leeks. Here we have some type of schnitzel pork that's just being fried. Let me flip that over right now. Only one each? Ooh. Nope, nope. And then that is for the for soup. And we have, I don't know what this is called. What is this called? Small salad. Yes. And then onions, carrot, and there's one more. Oh yeah, leeks. And then we're gonna throw that in here after this is finished cooking. Yeah, it's hot. You're hot. La more yours. And only yours. To so all those eligible bachelors out there. So, and only for you, Ruth. <laughs> to top off the night before we go to bed we're doing a little one more tradition of Santa Claus so it requires to get one shoe as you can see then I'll show you what to do with it do it on the radiator at the radiator or at the door I would say at the door because the radiator is uh, not the best place uh, right now yeah so let's place it in the door okay so we're gonna place our shoe at the door now Usually you place it on the fireplace or the radiator, but we place it on the door as well. And so this is for Sinchik cloths. And this carrot, you place it in your shoe as well. I don't know how nice it is because my shoe is kind of smelly. And it's for the Sinchik Claus um, horse when the white horse that we saw earlier today in the parade is going to come overnight and it's going to pay us a visit. So you want a little snack for him. So that's it. We just have to wait until tomorrow morning. We're gonna go to bed and then when we wake up We're gonna see if Santa Claus leaves us something in our shoe So instead of our North American tradition of stockings above the fireplace, it's one shoe uh, by the fireplace or by the door or by the closet and I mean radiator radiator and then you leave the carrot in for the Santa Claus uh, Santa Claus, actually, a uh, horse, and then we'll see if I've been a good boy enough this year to get anything from Santa Claus. Early the next morning. Morning, everybody. I just woke up. See you and check if Santa Claus left us. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he ate. I see. It. His horse ate the carrot too! Ah, perfect. He came! <laughs> Santa Claus is real. And his horse ate the carrot. <laughs> and what do we have here? Why did he give you the white pepper note in? <laughs> <laughs> you knew that if you would get it, that you wouldn't share. Oh. <laughs> and if I would get it, I would share. <laughs> and I got a white chocolate letter. So white chocolate. So chocolate. Usually chocolate letters are a big thing in the Netherlands during Santa Claus time. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think it's just a tradition. And then we have paper notes in. And usually they're not white chocolate. We just love white chocolate a lot. But this one is. So paper notes are these little round things um they look like little marble and um it's made of like cinnamon cardamom and they have a crunch to it 
um, but they're not fully chocolate, but they're coated in chocolate. And they're literally one of my favorite snacks, and they're only available this time of the year. And so, apparently, this tradition of leaving your shoe out, uh, you do it not just once a year, uh, you do it once every single sun Saturday. I think it's Saturday. Every single Saturday? Yes, till 5th of December. Oh, and yes. So every single Saturday until the 5th of December. So then you get keep getting presents from Santa Claus. Sure, it's a busy guy. <laughs> Ooh, so this is pepper open. <laughs> See, like a little brown marble? Chocolate, but chocolate coated in this case. And when you eat it, it has that crunch. That's what it looks like inside. And the yummiest snack ever. You can get this in so many different flavors too. The white chocolate is our favorite. The glass. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Shut up. What do you think I wish you a Merry Christmas? Okay, let's see. What's so how come this is such a big tradition mm. in the Netherlands? Like the chocolate letters. So Santa Claus gives it. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I got a letter. T. That's actually gamma in Greek letter. So I think he, and the T is half broken. I think Santa Claus mixed my name up. Or did he? Did he? Is <laughs> it an L? This is okay. Well, that is our morning with Santa Claus. Tune in next Saturday for when I get to put out our shoes again and see what we get next Saturday. Bye, guys. En ik heb gezegd, hè, als we in onze handen krabben, dan stopt het bedreven. En je ziet, het is waar gebleken. En er is gestopt.